Well, a different kind of Lunar New Year open house here in Singapore as more than 15,000 people thronged the Istana. And for the first time, several hundred got to enjoy guided tours of the building itself. Learning the stories behind this 144-year-old national monument is how some visitors chose to spend their public holiday. Through a 45-minute tour, they heard about the history of the rooms and architecture of the building. I found that with the tour, I think it's, it's more uh, uh, insightful. You, you get to learn about the history and the, the reasons behind some of the art and some of the, you know, how they designed this building. Some also enjoyed the fun facts the guides shared with them. He told us about the story about Prince Albert during his 18th birthday day when it was his first time to enter Istana, so that was pretty cool. I wouldn't expect like a chandelier to be like, 220 kg. Even small details like, you know, uh, flowers that were put on the table, um, how they were not uh, scentless and there's no pollen to it just because they are very sensitive to each guest's um, allergies. Throughout the day, visitors had to contend with the wet weather. Well, as you can see, the weather was a bit of an issue and many chose to take shelter here and wait for the rain to subside before exploring the rest of the Istana grounds. Now besides the guided tours inside, visitors can also see the Sri Tamasic, a 19th century bungalow, as well as the nutmeg tree plantation. The skies did clear up in time for President Tony Tan King Yum and his wife to join in the Lunar New Year celebrations, ushering in the Year of the Snake with the real McCoy and meeting local and foreign visitors.